Hi everyone, welcome to day 38 of Project 365. This is my third time trying to do this. Awesome. Uh, today, I will be performing a monologue from my favorite, well, one of my favorite plays, because I actually have a few favorite plays, uh, but that is neither here nor there. Uh, it is a Shakespeare play, but otherwise I'm going to let you guys try and figure out what it is. Uh, I doubt many of you read Shakespeare, but it'll be awesome to see if someone actually can guess what it is. Uh, so, uh, let us begin. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by the sun of York, and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now our brows are bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly into a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasings of a lute. But I that am not made for such sportive tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking glass. I that am rudely stamped, but want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I that am curtailed of his fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why, I, in this weak piping time, a piece of no delight to pass away the time unless to see my shadow in the sun and descant on mine own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I'm determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, inductions dangerous, drunken prophecies, libels, and dreams to set my brother Clarence in the king and deadly hate the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false, Treacherous. This day should Clarence be closely mewed up about a prophecy which is that G of Edward's as the murder shall be. Dive thoughts down into my soul. <laughs> Here Clarence comes. And scene, yeah. Um, that wasn't one of my better takes, but uh, it'll suffice. Uh, my first one was good, but I was rudely interrupted, and so, yeah, that was fun. Uh, anyway, but yes, um, I've been acting for three years now, and it's generally a lot of fun for me. Uh, it, it lets me escape reality, because I get to go on stage and act like I'm someone else. And personally, that's a lot of fun for me, so it's generally something that I like to do. Um, for those of you who've never acted in a player before, or like if you're in a high school now, and like you're in like 9th, 10th, or 11th, even if you're in 12th grade and you just want to try for your first show, I really recommend doing it. It's an experience that not many realize how awesome it is, or how much fun it is to really just put yourself out there for the world to see. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so... Um, yes, well, one of your questions for today is, uh, what play did I take that monologue from? Uh, I will actually start going into some things I know about drama, like lighting, staging, blocking, uh, how to perform a monologue, stuff like that. Um, I'll do that in future videos for those who are interested, because I think it would really help a lot of people. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best actor, because there is always a bigger fish in the world. Uh, but I do think that I understand enough of the technical stuff that I can really help people and explain it to those who don't really understand it. Uh, so look forward to those. Uh, but your second question of the day is, uh, I 
Actually, I don't know what your second question... Oh, um... Lions, tigers, or bears? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, hope you guys have a good day. And cue the new outro!